Hi everybody, it's Joni here at Joni's Journals. Welcome back um, and hello. I am here today to finish up the cover of our Joyful Youth's Journal, which as you can see, has gotten very fat and thick and gator mouth. And what I wanted to do was just to call this a wrap and get it done, and maybe if I have some time, we will do just a quick walkthrough of it so that you can take a look at some of the stuff that I've done without you. But as you can see, I have added a closure. I have added some um, cotton swill ribbon, and that's because this little bugger is not gonna stay closed unless we tie her closed, okay? I fussed and I just, I was having such a difficulty with completing the cover and I knew the way that I wanted to lay it out, but I just didn't like it. It, it needed something. So you can see here, there's two little pieces of paper that are different than the background. And what I have done is I have taken some corrugated cardboard and I have cut the corrugated cardboard to be three by just about three and a half, two pieces. And I have taken some paper and I have wrapped my corrugated cardboard in some more of the Tim Holtz paper. And I've added on some of the, um, oh, the mummy something. I can't remember what it's called, but it's that scrappy like cheesecloth stuff that Tim Holtz puts out. And I just added a little to it. I wanted to give the cover some dimension so I made these pieces the size that would fit nicely with our little photos on them. I just feel like it gives it that extra little something that it needs. And that's what I wanted to accomplish with that. Now, we are also going to decorate the back of our journal. So that's what we're going to do first. I have taken... I'm not going to glue this down. I don't want to do that. I have taken some other little images from the Joyful Youth Kit, and I tried to pull out images that had similar numbers of children in them as the ones that we're going to put on the cover. So you can see there's three little children in this one. So there's three children in that one. And there's two little children kind of hugging each other on this one, so I wanted one for the background. I wonder if these are the same kids, I don't know. <laughs> but I wanted to just kind of add a little something to the back of the journal cover as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna lay it flat like this. This way we can glue our pictures on and get them kind of centered with each other sort of at a little visual angle. Ooh, there's a little piece of scrap. And I am gonna glue these to the back of the journal. Now, I have been doing videos all morning and my voice is bad enough to start with from this horrible cold that I seem to have. And so if I sound a little scratchy, I am sorry about that. But yeah, I, I made some fun and funky videos this morning. Well, earlier today, it's not the last one I finished wasn't even in the morning. I just actually finished it up a few minutes ago. We're gonna glue these little girls down here on the bottom like so and try to get them kind of even. And of course we wanna get them straight. It's hard to work with this paper because the lines are not always straight on the paper itself. So trying to line up the images, even when I did the cover, lining up those pieces of corrugated cardboard and trying to get them straight, I was getting dizzy trying to keep up with all the different little lines that are in the images on the scrapbook paper. So yeah, we're gonna try and get these on here, kind of similar, um, amounts away from the edges of the paper and just kind of get them straight and we want them to kind of overlap so yeah I think those are straight let's just tilt this one a little 
Yeah. Okay. So there we go. There we have the back of our cover. And now the piece of twill will lay over them. I don't want to attach it to the back because if you need to open and close the journal or if you want to make your strings a little bit shorter, I, I, I want to give you that play. I don't want to attach it to the back, but I did want to attach it to the front just so that it would kind of stay firm. So now let's add our children to the front. Or you know what? Let's do a little bit of a walkthrough first because those pictures are kind of heavy and they're going to need to to lay flat in order to stay on. So yeah, here is some of the stuff I've been making. Um, I made some specimen cards using an Elizabeth Craft Design um, die cut. And I've attached images of the children on the front. There's a little bit of the... Um, Oh, that plastic stuff. I can't ever remember what it's called when I need to remember. And yeah, I added some little pockets. I used those other images. There is not something in every single pocket. These are the little coffee cup sock pockets. And let's see, those are my paper clip slips. And you've seen all of this. I'm just, this is another one of the sock pockets we made. And this is a specimen card. Um that this one, I don't, this is a Sizzix. I think it's a Sizzix, but it's not a Tim Holtz. And I made one and I've added extra little pieces so that you can write little notes on them. And let's see, you know about that one. And we did that together. And let's see, here's another one of the, the specimen cards made in the same way as the other with the, um, Plus acetate, that's what it's called, acetate, with the little acetate window. And I made that for there. And again, another little pocket that I added, and there's another little pocket. I don't tend to fill up all of my pockets. This is one of those little uh, flip journal books that I made, and I'm still, I promise I will do a video on how to make those. Um, I just haven't gotten around to doing that one yet. And let's see, what else do we have in here? And I decorated one of the little pockets. And yes, these are all, you've seen all of these. Uh, this is a little envelope that I made using Tracy's Scrappy, oh gosh, Scrappy Bits, I think they're called. And I printed it on both sides and I decorated the inside and the outside. I will look and see. I know I have one alongside of me. And I want to say it was a freebie, but I'm not sure. I, I'm pretty sure it is a freebie on the website. And so, yeah. Oh, here's another one of the, the specimen cards with one of the little images and the acetate, now that I remember what it's called. And I tucked that in one of the little pockets that we did together. And yeah, I think we're pretty much near the end. Um, I did, what I, I did was I put in another little Tim Holtz that we added the butterfly wings to. And this is the little extra pad of paper. And what I did was I added a library pocket in the back and I did some stamping on it with, I have one of those very large stamps that has the letters and the numbers on it. And so I did some stamps on it. I put the name Joyful Youths and 2024 Joni since this is 2024, and I did create it, okay? And I'm going to tuck that in there. And so, yeah, that's our journal, okay? And I will be listing it on Etsy as soon as I get a chance. I have so much stuff to put on Etsy, and I just have not gotten around to it. Okay, let's add our photos to the front of our journal, and we are going to call this baby done, all right, it gets plenty of glue on there. And yeah, and then I do want to let you know I have made some videos for um, a little accordion folio, and I will show you that really quickly. I made a video on how to do that. I just want to tilt this a bit and make sure I'm getting this straight. Okay, yeah. Um, I will give you a, a quick glimpse at one and let you know that I made a video 
And actually that one was done this morning. And I've also made a video using Tracy's new kits, uh, Simply Valentine and Scrappy Silhouettes. I did make a video doing something with those, a little bit unlike what I normally do, but I think you'll enjoy it. It's kind of funny. <laughs> it wasn't meant to be, <laughs> but you know, things happen. <laughs> I didn't spill anything this time, so don't worry about that. And so there we go. There is the front of our journal, and I'm going to just hold these and the back of our journal, and I'm just going to give it a little tie closed. I don't want to pull it too much, and I do have a lot of ribbon on here, but we can tie a pretty little bow on here. I'm going to just pull this up to try to get the bow towards the top, and we'll give it a little tie. We'll close it up and we'll call it done. And I will cut off, or I may not, I may just leave it um, because if you add stuff to the journal, she's gonna get fat again and you're gonna need the extra room to tie her clothes. But that's the front that we just did and the back with our other little images. And so there we go. Joyful Youths is complete, and I am very joyful about that because I do have an idea for an art journal or an artsy journal that I want to make. Um, Tracy also has out a new kit called Artie, Artie, or Artie, I don't remember. I have to look for it, um, but I have an idea for that. I did order some um, Medite journal covers from Mike Deacon Art in England and they are on their way to me and they are little six by sixes and so I have to kind of formulate how I'm gonna do that but yeah we're gonna do that too and then I have another one coming up um, using a kit the scrappy silhouette kit from Tracy and also a new uh, I think it's called eco boho something or another from Louisa Heinzel and I always find that Louisa and Tracy and Tim, they all go together so well that I feel like combining these kits is just going to make something really kind of awesome. And I think you're going to enjoy it. But this is my little folio that I made. And there is a video out or it will be out by the time you see this. So go over and check this out because this was a lot of fun. Um, so I have that and I have something else. I'm not going to tell you what it is that I did with the Simply Valentine, but I'm going to have a video that one's going to be out by the time you see this one, too. So, yeah, um, I hope you guys are having an awesome day. I want to thank all of my new subscribers. And I want to say hello to everybody. And, and just I love when everybody comments. And I got a nice comment back from um, all of the ladies that won my, my um, 500 subscriber giveaway. So I want to say hi to all of them, too. And, yeah, I guess that's about it for today. So here's our journal, and I will be listing it on Etsy. Um, as soon as I do that, I will let you guys know so you can go over and check it out. Um, I want to thank those of you. Well, actually, Hazel was the, one, the first, and I'm hoping there's more. I haven't checked. Uh, that went over to my Kofi. She bought me a coffee. I, I can't believe I'm able to say that. Um, and she purchased the little um, coffee cup sock pocket image that I had on there. And again, I have to give her my email so like she can send me pictures of what she might have made with it. And she bought some of my digitals. I don't have many on my Etsy, but I do have some. Um, she bought those. And so, yeah, I want to send you guys all lots of love and the biggest hugs. And, and I just, from the bottom of my heart, I want to thank everybody who's been watching and subscribing. And I love you all. And so, yeah, Love, big hugs, and remember please to like, comment, and subscribe, and you have an awesome rest of your day or night or wherever you're at in this world, and I will see you again soon. I'm going to try to squeeze in yet another video this weekend, okay, because I was sick and I wasn't able to get too many out. So yeah, oh, I do want to let you know, I have gotten my Scorched Timber. Okay, I got my oxide, I got my ink, I got my crayons, 
I know a lot of you haven't been thrilled with watching my little crayon coloring, and I, but I know that there are those of you that have. And I got my watercolor pencil, and oh, we're going to have so much fun. I just can't wait. Okay, guys, thank you again. Love, big hugs, like, comment, subscribe, please. Okay, enjoy your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now. Bye. Thank you for watching.